Haven't been out of the bay for a little while. We're heading to Fisherman's Gutter, Rouse Channel, trying to get some whiting. Fingers crossed, we get a feed. Alright, we're at Fisherman's Gutter chasing whiting for this squid the other day. What I'm doing is cutting it up into rings and little strips. Just little strips, you don't need much. Like that size, just enough to cover the hook. And then once you get it cut up, make sure your dog doesn't eat it. This is the second time I've had to cut up bait this morning. Is he already eating the first lot? Didn't you? All right, update, 11, 7, oh, 4, <laughs> <laughs> lines are winning so far, even with the tangles, wind's dropping off, fisherman's gutter, heaps of people at the rouse, we went straight past them. Size for whiting. We're in like 5.7 meters of water. GPS marks today. Right there, if you can make it out, hopefully it's focused for you. We did a drift, we started here, we drift down to the shallows. But that's where they were mainly, the gas. 135 in what about four hours was it? Schmick day. All scaled, all on ice. That's us.
very quickly. Win or whiting. Now, number one rule with um, using a knife is never cut towards yourself. So cut down, then cut towards yourself, heaps. Trust the knife, trust where the bones are in the fish. out down here if you want have a better look rib cages go up you feel the end of them so yeah, go up get right underneath them cut down and then I'm gonna angle my knife back up towards that rib cage out it comes and then you got the pin bones you can actually feel them if you rub your fingers along it you feel them let's go straight down either side Beautiful warning for this. A little bit of a knead up. Oh, yeah, cool. Get on a roll. Rinse and repeat. Just become your own little robot, like a, like a factory worker.